All right, so this little inconspicuous looking patch on this tree here that could be fungus or lichen is actually a little herd of insects. These guys are called bark lice. The woodlands of central North Carolina are home to a wide variety of interesting wildlife. Beneath the cover of trees, alien looking creatures crawl about, rarely noticed by their human neighbors. I'm fortunate to live in the middle of a woodland, which gives me access to a plethora of incredible animals. So out here along the creek, we find a lot of really weird animals. And today, we're actually gonna be looking not on the ground or in the water, but we're looking on the trees. The trees are actually a really great hiding spot for a lot of weird animals, including something really neat that I'd hope to get to show you today. Tree bark can be an underrated place to encounter some interesting creatures. Its rough texture, along with the lichens and mosses that tend to grow on it, make it a surface that many things can camouflage on. It doesn't take much to hide on bark. All you have to do is be dull in coloration and have inconspicuous patterns and you'll blend right in. Being such an attractive habitat means that plenty of predators will be lurking around as well, hoping to find camouflage snacks. Take these little guys, for example. They're not spiders, but red velvet mites. These guys prowl the rough terrain of tree bark, looking for other creepy crawlies to eat, including our target animal. So I've actually seen a herd of bark lice around this area fairly recently, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get one in front of the camera for you. It's just a matter of looking on the right tree at the right time. Last time I saw them, they were right here. They were actually like over my head as I ducked underneath to go through. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is the tree. They should be around here somewhere. It was like three days ago. So I can't imagine they've gone far or have been completely eaten by a potential predator in those three days. That would be really unfortunate, but I don't think, I don't think that's the case. All right, yeah, here they are. They're actually lower on the tree than they uh, originally were. So I was expecting them to be further up, but they're actually right around this corner. So if you wanna come over here and have a closer look, I can show you. All right, so this little inconspicuous looking patch on this tree here that could be fungus or lichen is actually a little herd of insects. These guys are called bark lice. And, uh, oh, they're starting to move. I'm gonna not breathe on them so they don't like disappear on me. These bizarre looking insects are known as bark lice. As their name suggests, they are in fact related to the lice that you might find living in your hair. But these guys are no threat to me, and they're not a nuisance to the tree either. The bark lice migrate along the trunk of the tree, grazing on fungi and decaying material. Now, the thing that's so exciting about bark lice is while they may be a really small, seemingly insignificant animal, they actually exhibit what's known as Boyd's algorithm. And this is an algorithm created by a mathematician uh, quite a few years ago to model bird flocking behavior. A group of bark lice is called a herd, just like cattle or goats. And that is because they stick together and they move as a group and not as singular units. The Boyd's algorithm works just like this and is used to model flocking behavior of many different animals, from insects to fish to birds. The algorithm sets three basic rules that the animals follow. Avoid crashing into the other animals in your group, steer in the general direction the other animals are heading, and steer towards the average position of the other animals, or the center of the group. When disturbed, the herd will break up, with bark lice scattering in all directions, or many herds breaking off from the main. But they always come back together and tend to move as a unit. Notice how the herd is always round in shape. The bark lice don't just line up, they clump together for strength in numbers. These bark lice act as one super organism, moving as one while they graze on fungi and rotting material in the tree bark. They may look like creepy, bigger versions of their blood-sucking cousins, but they don't have the right mouth parts to bite humans. Instead, they have little mandibles used for chewing off bits of fungus from the tree trunk they live on. Now these guys are only juveniles. During the later spring and summer months, they'll develop wings and be able to migrate further than one tree. They only live a few months, so multiple generations will rise and fall within the same year before overwintering as eggs. 
With many species, very little is actually known because they actually live in reclusive pockets far away from humans. In fact, most of the species we know about were only recently discovered. These bark lice are an absolutely incredible find, but I'm going to let them get back to their business. For more wildlife adventures, check out the video on your screen. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.